Next event on the track will be the boys' 3,200 meter run. The state at large standard, 907.70. Took that 907.17. We have only one runner in the field who has run that fast this year. That is Callum Bolger out of San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo is senior. He went 845.10 on this very track at Arcadia. And that super deep race will win a mind boggling 25 kids broke nine minutes that evening in April. That time for Bolger, 8.45.10, number four in the United States this year. Hey gentlemen, good luck. On your march. Here we go, starting the boys 3,200 meter up. Field of 12, also in the field, Trevor Woodward. Von Young Jr. from Centine of Corona. 9.33.77 last weekend. Raymond Ornelas Roosevelt, a junior, best of 908.79 early season at the Trophy Invitation. Looked very, very smooth that afternoon. Kevin Ramos, a sophomore from Rubido, also here. 928.25, Division Three finals last week. Tyler Spencer, junior, another entry from Roosevelt, 909.49. Not too many teams in America can have two kids, sub 910, on the same team. Carlos Carvajal, junior from Great Oak, 910.03 this year. Also, Brandon Huff, Dana Hills, 920.11 last weekend. Kayla Lauren, coming on really well from Mira Costa, 920.07. Ryan Rankin of Claremont, 907.71 here at Arcadia back in April. Jack Langreff, 910.16 best this year from Dana Hills. Eric Gonzalez, senior, Sandy Cross Country season, state champ, Division Three from Rubido. Colby Corker, an outstanding student athlete from St. John Bosco, only a junior, 908, 918.08 last weekend. And Callum Bolger, once again, 845.10, number four in the U.S. this year, the senior from San Luis Obispo. That's also the number two time in California, Cooper Tier, up in Northern California with that sensational performance at Arcadia, 841.46, a meet record. 67.6 was our lap for the first 400. And we believe that was Brendan Huff, who was our one lap leader. He's currently your leader coming through the curve on lap number two. And right behind him is teammate Jack Landgraf. The Dolphins always running well in both cross country and track. In the distances come postseason. And they're setting the pace here. And now Bolger. St. Louis Obispo moving up in third. He's in that maize color, maize and black. Dark brown, actually. And now Ramos. Two sixteen eight for Huff. 69-2 on that last lap. Right around, right around 907 pace through the first 800. Again, that's standard 907.17. But you see them bunched together in a pretty good groove here. So a very good chance to get some at-large qualifiers if you can just run a bit quicker on that negative split. But it's playing out nicely so far. Good tempo up front. Brendan Huff, Jack Landgraf in second. It's like Carbajal from Great Oak. And now on the outside, Carvajal trying to put the pace just a bit more. How about the whole field here? And Landgraf from Gaten Hills tries to cover that move. Coming up on 1,200. 325-3. 69-2 on that last lap. And now we have a new leader. That is Carlos Carvajal of Great Oak. Carvajal, Landgraf, now Bolger making a bit of a move. Huff. That is Ramos of uh, Rubido now in fourth. Huff just back to fifth. Gonzalez of Rubido in sixth. Go, guys, good job. Go. Good job, 
two of the great distance programs in the last decade, Great Oak and Dana Hills. Dana Hills has actually been a big power for the last 30 years here in California. And Landgraf of Dana Hills moves into the lead, coming up on the halfway point, and right there is Bolger in third. 434-1 through 1600, so 9.082 pace, but the whole pack is right there. It remains Landgraf, Carvajal, Bolger. It is Ramos in fourth, Gonzalez in fifth. Thomas going hip number three from Rubido. Coming up on 2,000 meters. Five forty-five flat. And in the back straight, this is Carvajal. It's Great Oak in Dana Hills. We've seen this up many times before in cross country. And again, keep your eye on third, Callum Bolger. He has been the class of California on the southern section end in the distances this year. He is currently in third. He'll attend Stanford University in the fall, and he's in great position right now. There are plenty of big names up front. Coming up on the end of laps, laps number six. Let's give him a hand, folks. Help him out. And now Berger moves up to second. Carvajal, Berger, Landgraf, Ramos, Lauren. We have 800 to go. 6.56.7 through 2,400 meters. And now we'll see if we can pick up the pace just a tad. Trying to get the out of that large standard, 907.17. On the back straight. Let's have a lot folks coming down the strip. We've got a big pack here. All 12 still fairly close together. And now we see Colby Corcoran of St. John Bosco making a good move on the outside. From 10th now up to 3rd. Now Ramos in the lead. Bolger now right there. Bolger moves into the lead for the first time. Race picking up, coming up on the bell rock. Bolger, Ramos, Landgraf, Lauren, Corcoran. One lap to go. 8063. It's Bolger trying to pull away on the back straight. Bolger, Gonzalez, Lauren, Corcoran, Carnahal, a battle for sixth. Coming through the curve, you see his closing kick. This is Kellen Bolger. Let's give him a hand, folks. Headed for Stanford University. And of course, they get a big fight here. Kellen Bolger, San Luis Obispo. He will be here in 2017. CIF Southern Section Masters Champion. We have Lauren flying in for Maricosta. Colby Corcoran, St. John Bosco. Very, very tight for fourth. 
And they're not largest, but several personal bests here in this race. And waiting for the official time, but Callum Bush looks very impressive on that last lap. 57 flat on that last lap for Bolger. Slamming the door in the field. 9.03.24 for Colin Bolger. Caleb Lauren. Mira Costa, 9.06.30. Kobe Corcoran, big PR. St. John Bosco, 9.07.77. Eric Gonzalez, Rubido, 9.08.39 and fourth. Carlos Carvajal, Great Oak in fifth, 9.08.54. Andrew Spencer, Roosevelt, 9.09.22 and sixth. Trevor Woodward, Centennial, 9-11-59. So top six, rounded up by Spencer, moving on to the California State Meet. Eighth, Jim Lankrat, Jack Langrath, in the Hills, 9-12-42. Ninth, Kevin Ramos, Rubido, 9-14-70. I want to get a picture of you in here. Let's do now. You want to do it now? Sure. So Bolger being brought along very, very nicely here in postseason. Once again, Coach Steve Boaz has a great tradition of picking these kids at just the right time. Bolger's quite a talent, and he's really showing well coming down the home straight. Again, next weekend, starting in Friday, the California State Meet, the 99th annual California State Championships over at Buchanan High School in Clovis.